Jason so much that I wanted to make a 28mm miniature of the Predator from that film. So I started off with the skinny little wire skeleton and began bulking up the torso with tinfoil. I covered the tinfoil in a thin layer of my favourite clay, Fimo, since it's really easy to work with, and then started adding in all the muscles, and let me tell you, there were a lot of muscles. This thing has a 24 pack. Once the muscles were in place, I gave them some more definition by gently pressing in the lines with the tool. And when I thought they looked suitably toned, I covered this thing in some scaly texture by making sort of wavy alternating lines and in some instances just carving in scales. With everything textured, I sent this off for a quick 20 minute bake before deciding that the muscles were looking a bit flat, so I smooshed on some more clay and textured it in the same way. Now that this thing was looking even more shredded, I bulked up the neck before poking holes into it to try and recreate that weird alien texture. I baked this thing a second time, and when it came out of the oven, I stuck a thin layer of clay onto the back to act as glue for the tinfoil that I bulked it up with before then covering that tinfoil in clay. I added all the scales to the back, although most of them on the right side would be covered up by that high-tech backpack thing. Speaking of which, I made that thing out of a piece of tin foil covered in clay that I then wrapped some thin ribbons of fimo around to create the different panels. It was at that point that I decided it might be a good idea to stick it onto the rest of the body before adding all the other panels. I carved a little bit more detail into this thing, and then sent it off for a quick bake. But somehow there were still things I needed to add before calling the torso finished, like thickening up the neck and adding some beefy shoulders. And then I could move on to the limbs. So the limbs got the old tin foil and clay treatment before being sent off to hit the gym. And then it's just a case of adding the scales. And it's not the most boring thing you can do in the world, but it is pretty time consuming. And makes me wish slightly that I stopped with the original Predator instead. Who knows, maybe I'll make him next. With that all done, I realised that, unless I wanted to be censored, I needed to cover up this creature's crotch. So I made four textured panels and arranged them around his waist as a nice kilt, before baking him again. But now is the time that every sculptor dreads the most, making the hands. And I know the stop motion made it look relatively easy, but trust me, it took hours for me to get those right. Luckily, the feet were much easier to make. All I had to do was carve in each of the toes and then add some random detail. I then baked this thing a fifth time before sticking on all its accessories, like its gauntlets, which got some nice techy detail carved into it, and its ankle bandage things? I'm not exactly sure what they are, or what they're even for, but rule of cool, I guess. And now that this thing, ankle bandages and all, is almost complete, I sent him off for a quick bake. Okay, I should probably do a hit like and subscribe segment now. Got the subscribe button here, but where has that like button gone off to? I swear I saw it around here somewhere. I guess I just gotta go find it. This tinfoil shape covered in clay is going to end up as a slightly oversized predator head that I baked straight away since I wanted a nice sturdy base to add details onto. Now that I didn't need to worry about accidental decapitations, which in my experience happen a lot more often than you'd think, I smooshed on some facial features that I then carved tons of tiny little vertical lines into, which to be honest weren't that noticeable in the end product, but you know, it's the wasted time and energy that counts. Anyway, I made the mandibles out of some thin C-shaped pieces of clay that I stuck on either side and blended into the rest of the face, and as I was doing this, I noticed that there's this weird red dot on my hands. And Oh wait, it's just a tiny piece of clay that I carved some teeth into and attached to the lower jaw. I decided to bake them again before moving on to the skull mask, which is definitely one of the coolest design elements of the new Predator. I tried my best to carve in all the panel lines, but there is a certain level of detail that's almost impossible to achieve at this scale. And now, all that was left to do was to add one of his most important features, his dreadlocks, which took quite a lot of time. Before I show you the finished Predator, I'd just like to let you know that I've got an Instagram now, so if you want sneak previews of upcoming videos or just want to see some of my other artwork, make sure to check that out. Get to the chopper! Okay, okay, I was about to, but could you just let me- Come on! Do it now! Yeah, well, just please don't hit me.